This video is going to be all about printing your quote and we're going to have a look at the different layout options that we have, uh, different options around how you can edit and customize your quotes, different options around the methods that you can actually get that quote to your client with, and a couple of tips and tricks just along the way. Rightio, so we're going to start by saying that there's basically two main quote layouts that you're going to see. So when you first go into the quote letter, it's likely that you will see the build exact print only layout, um, which is a bit of a history lesson here, an older layout. So it's, a, it's what we've been using for longer uh, within build exact. And the actual presentation of it is a bit simpler. Um, so it's more text uh, driven. It's more black and white. It still has photos on it. It still has your logo and colors. But generally speaking, it's a simpler form of quote. If I go select a different layout, I have the build exact customizable layout as well. And this is a newer layout. It's, as it sounds, more customizable. And it's, um, as opposed to the print layout, which can be printed or emailed, this is really designed to be delivered online. Um, so whether that be through the client portal or through a link, um, I mean, you can definitely print it, but the presentation uh, is really, when we were designing it, really had in mind that this is going to be an online quote. So we're going to go through both of them and just talk about the different options and cover specifically how you can edit them, how you can get kind of the best out of it. We're going to start first of all with the standard build exact print only layout. So we're going to click on there, click on quote letter and just talk about the options that you have here. So the bulk of it is to do with editing the quote body, which is like the cover letter, the terms and conditions, which um, you likely know what those are already, but they'll sit down the bottom of your quote. And then the right hand side is a big series of tick boxes, which is just saying yes or no, which bits should I show in my quote? So we'll run through this one first couple of little pointers here. You can have preset quote bodies or cover letters, and you can do this in both formats, uh, i.e. The, the print layout or the customizable layout. As part of this, you can have what we call um, placeholders, which is these square brackets with customer name in it, and you can steal more from in here. A lot of people delete them, but in short, what it's actually going to do is steal the customer's name from elsewhere. Um, same for the work location, quote total, company name. And it really just means that you can drop this into a template or drop this into a, a quote and it will update itself for each quote that you do. Terms and conditions, obviously set these up how you like. You can preset them. And as mentioned, they'll sit right on the bottom of your quote. I'm going to run through these ones. So in my quote, I'm going to print my logo and my business details. If your logo is not here, you'll probably need to take a quick uh, detour into my business and set that up. You can control the expiry and then you can ultimately control how much of the specifications and the estimate costings or categories and items that we are showing. So with all our quotes, the, the rule of thumb is the same that it's going to be made up in part of estimate costings and in part of specifications and how much you steal from each part is up to you. What we're, what we're using these tick boxes for is basically to tell the, the quote how much uh, detail to show and how much to steal from each area. So for example, my quote, I, uh, I'm gonna rely quite heavily on specifications because I like the idea of being really descriptive um, and I'm going to be a bit minimal on the categories and items because I don't really wanna show each and every item. I don't, definitely don't want to show quantities, unit measures. But that said, we've got the option here and that's the beauty of it. So in mine, I'm going to say, yes, do show each category from here. Um, do show the quote totals. That's an optional one. I'll show you what it looks like. In the quote totals, uh, or sorry, the category totals do show GST. And then I've turned all the sub items off. The allowances. So when we were doing PC items, PS items, 
what we're doing is telling the client how much is allowed for an item. And here is my option to choose how that presents to the client. So I can say, look, just show them the total um, without any tax or show them the total with tax. Personally, I like the full breakdown just because I think if I'm gonna have an allowance, I like it to be transparent. Um, I also have the option to show the markup percentage on the allowance list. Take it or leave it. Uh, what that will do is give the client an indication of how much markup is included. But uh, I'll have that on just to show you. As always, you can customize this to your liking. But uh, we'll go print. Rule of thumb print. Um, we've got, we often get people emailing these to themselves to, to view them. Print is a print preview as well. So you can use it to just check it out. But uh, let's have a look at my quote. So stock stuff up the top is you know my logo about me, about my client, um, the standard cover letter, and note that it's filled out names and things automatically. Moving on down, the specifications with uh, the images. It's then gone into my prime costs, of which I only had the one. And it's shown full transparency on what markup is being made, um, what tax is on the item, and what the client ultimately has to spend. The real intention of the prime costs is you're kind of handing it over to them to say, hey, this is something we don't know yet, but you're going to pick it. Um, and this is, this is the, the amount of money that you've got to, to put onto it. Uh, so we want to give a, a good figure, a realistic figure for them to be able to go to their, their Bunnings, their Harvey Norman, their wherever, uh, and compare items with items. Moving on down, this is the categories that I chose to put on. Totally optional if you want to have them. I left a lot of zeros in here because I didn't remove uh, categories that I probably would have normally. That said, we definitely get people who tell us they leave zeros in on purpose to show that something is purposefully not allowed for. That's fine, personal preference. Down, 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 terms, conditions, final figure. So that's the build exact print layout. I'm going to select a different layout now and use the customizable layout. You will notice a lot of similarities in that it has a cover page, letter, quoted items, allowances. It's got a lot of the same sections. It's just displayed slightly differently. One thing that you can do that is not, op uh, not an option in the print only layout is you can turn things off. So you can say, don't show that, don't show that. And you can basically pick and choose. You can also click through each section and there's sub items or sub um, options in each. Now the, the main things you're gonna to want to do like changing images on the front page, they can all be done from within each of these options. One thing I will mention is there is this advanced editing option. Um, it is a little bit code based, so it's based on the actual HTML that makes the document. And if you are so inclined or you know someone who is, um, this actually does give you an extra option as far as customizing them. Um, so. I'm not saying this is for everyone, uh, but I just want to point this out that this actually is here as well. What we're trying to do as much as possible is get the really common stuff that people will want to change and make that an easy thing to do. So I'm not going to go through all the sections, but I'm just going to make sure that the main things I want to show are here. So I want to show category totals. I want to include GST, much like I did in the last quote. I want my cover letter to be sorted. Note, you can have presets. I want my allowances to be here and I want to show the full breakdown like I did last time. I want my specifications to be here. And I really want the numbers to be here. I quite like those. So there we go, the reference numbers. Quote summary. So I don't show any categories here, I just show a final price, but that's an option. Terms and conditions, and contact us, which is the back page. So from here, I could choose really whatever I wanna show, whatever images. If you do change images, um, they will, or they should resize to fit the page quite nicely. 
And quick method, I mentioned to the delivery methods, uh, for the print layout, it was just email and print. Although you did have the option to drop it into the client portal via the share button. It's slightly different for this new one. You can still print, which is usual. It's only a PDF. There's no Word or Excel. If you email, it will send the PDF, but better yet, it has, once it, once it loads, better yet is it has a link there, in there. Um, and what that does is it'll open it fully online. Uh, so it basically takes them to a little web page and they're looking at a fully online quote, which um, I personally think is quite impressive. Share, as always, you can share this into the client portal. But I'm going to go print and view this. And give you a bit of a preview of what this format looks like. So keep in mind there's always going to be options. So if you, if you want to change something, uh, the option is more than likely there. But uh, yeah, this is what it'll be for me. I didn't really put much of a cover letter in. I'd probably fix that up a bit. But it's got my standard quoted items. It's got my allowances. My specifications. And I really like how we show the images here. Um, so I love that, uh, that they're spaced out, but they're slightly smaller. Quote summary with final figure. And then terms, conditions. And final back page. One thing to note. If you do send the online version, um, because it's not paging, it'll have a lot of these closer together. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have gaps like it does when it has to force them onto a single page. I guess the biggest recommendation is jump in here and have a play with it. Um, if you make a customizable layer and you love it, save it, and that will mean that you can use it permanently. But uh, yeah, jump in, have a play. Odds on there's gonna be a format that works for you. And um, yeah, see, see uh, how you can uh, make this suit for your brand and for your style of presentation. Very good. Thanks so much.